Tell here everyone and welcome back to another episode of Civilization 5 Brave New World playing as China. China. Nice. So, the strikes back is, is doing his job. They're doing their job, so we can do ours. Pew and Le Pew. No, Pew you. And can you take that? Mm. You know what? This'll be his ultimate test. We too low? Ultimate test successful. Kablam! Alright, create a puppet. And yes. <laughs> Spy fled the captured city. Oh, did he really? Mr. Liu, you're doing well. You can go back to Berlin. Yes. As a spy. And yes, you got that promotion, which is awesome. So yes! You can be the... <laughs> <laughs> Waterbenders. Nice. Alright, we'll send you to Huanshu. Or Hanshu. Nas. Pew. Do we have a general? No, we don't. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Alright, well, let's bring you into the city. Droves of dolls fill the city in streets, slums, and homes. Pew. And you can actually just heal. And our bombers... Well, I don't really want to risk that, no. You can just intercept, and you can just get here. Okay, I suppose we could just automate everybody now. I suppose. Alright, and you need to actually get in there. You did that. Oh. Okay, this city is building far too many workers. We need to stop after him. Alright, give me a garden, airport, medical lab, the whole shabam. Shabam. I suppose you could go here and protect him. Alright, you'll just do nothing until we can get in there. Because, hey, they want that road. I want to give them that road. And they've got uranium as well. If only we could power over fake. With uranium. I mean, we could. Nuclear power, you know. Well. We can actually do one of these now. Ooh, that's a lot of gold. I think you've sold me on that one, actually. Because, I mean, there's nothing else we're going to be able to use this for. There's the Grand Ceremony. That gives us faith and science. Yeah, but it's not much, you know. It's, it's pretty terrible when you think about it. 51%. Now, let's do this. We've got so much culture. I mean, look at that. 1,079 culture. Oh, and we'll be able to see if we, we actually get the benefit of... <gasps> we do! We actually get the benefit of um, of the uh, Statue of Liberty here. Yep, it gives plus one production to all of those. I didn't think that... I didn't think it did that. That is amazing. So we actually get the benefit of that. So our empire... It's humongously powerful. Look at all that money we have. Oh, look at that. Now, can we coup somewhere? I do believe... Oh, one turn. Now, Quebec City. We can just buy cities. <laughs> we can just buy. We can buy more more nations. Is any... Oh, there's no way to tell here. Does anybody want money? Money! Dun -dun 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 -dun. No. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, and Germany's trying to get in there. Not doing very well, but I won't put it past Germany to actually win that war. Germany might mercilessly slaughter them. <gasps> Not my artillery! What would I do without him? <gasps> it's the merit. No! We would not take the merit. Mm. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. <gasps> the Imperial Guard! It's the Emperor. Or the Empress. We don't know. It'd be cool if your leaders could change, you know, like like they do in real life. I know, just like like an EU4, right? And you get you get new monarchs, it's realistic. Um, that your monarchs die and I mean come on. The same freaking personality throughout the whole game, like forever and ever. Just so unrealistic. It does bug me that part of Civ. But it's not meant to be a that serious of a game. It is still pretty serious though. There is still quite a bit to it. It's not like an intense thinking game. But it's also not, um, it's not, also not that, uh, thingy. Melbourne. 
you're down here, aren't you? Yeah, Melbourne's on our side. Yeah, we're gonna have to go to war with Germany probably. But look, we've got this whole continent worth of worth of uh, city-state allies to deal with Germany on that continent. <gasps> Manila, that's who I want. If we can get you, can we get you? Forty-five. So if we throw, mm, we have to throw it. You know what? Throw three thousand of them. It's always good to have more allies. All right. Pew. Right. Land ship. You're gonna be called um, land grab. <laughs> like Malcolm Land Grab from Sims Busting Out. Anybody play that game? No. Anybody? No. Dust. <laughs> oh, you. Oh. They're being barnacle heads. Right. Um, well, we're going to want to establish a road. <laughs> what? Through? Yes, through these mountains. We're going to establish a road. A railroad through these mountains. That's how dedicated I am to finishing this project. Okay. Pew. And then you can roll them over. Or can you? Yes. Pew. And then pew. Oh! Oh, nice! Yeah! That's, that's, that's interesting. Venice's borders all the way up to there. So yeah, we actually need to get into the ocean. No matter! Alright, yeah, get logistics, but you're out of commission for a while. Uh, yep. Chill out. Actually, no. If you can get into the water as well... Well, you'll need to go back anyways. <laughs> nice. Dude. And then, dude. We just sunk his admiral and his uh, thingy. General Dyer. General, no, not General Dyer. What's his name? General Kitchener. <laughs> general Kitchener. Famous, you know, famous army general. He died. Um, he died, what was it, drowning. Oh! Can grab these two. <gasps> so we got a great engineer and we got a great artist. Could do another golden age very soon. We could make it a double golden age. Mmm. I still want to get that culture victory. I don't know. Is there another wonder we can get? <gasps> yes! We can get that, right? We can get the Hubble Space Telescope. So yeah, we'll save that great engineer. I don't know. What do I do with him? I mean, culture is culture. No, we'll save him for a double golden age. Oh, Hans! <laughs> and yes, upgrade you just because you're annoying me. Annoying! And we'll upgrade all these lunch connections. Don't know why. Just it feels like they should be upgraded. All right. Next turn. Da na 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 da 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 da. Okay. Things are going alright here. Yeah, we've almost finished our unification. Unfortunately, that do it will end in Venice being declared war on. Feels such a shame to have to come to that point, but they're on my continent. There's no, there's no way to say that that is not part of our continent. Cause it's, it's the dragon's head. It's literally the dragon's head. Yeah, it's a pretty epic dragon's head too. Yeah. Kind of looks like a hat. <laughs> the hat of the doge, you know. <laughs> wow. Much pretty. Very royal. Uh, we're almost there. And yes, we'll get our airports and then the empire will truly be connected. Through airways. Airlines and shoot. No, you don't. That is mine. Kablam. Mine! I don't like Germany's expansions everywhere, <laughs> says the guy who expanded, you know, across half the world. But, you know, Germany's... What is Germany doing? I mean, obviously he's trying to take the... Oh, no, Sweden's trying to take that. But, yeah, no. <gasps> Germany's got the helicopters and he's coming in for the kill. Oh, look, and we got Coral. It's not Coral. It's Coral. Right. Push in. Landing. 
Right, we got the Empress's will. Her last will and testament. Right. Um, we'll have to pop you, what, here? Yep. We'll have to get into the ocean. The Empress's Wheel. That's our flagship. If you didn't get that, then I don't know. Right, and you can actually start building that road to Kaisong. And you can just kind of head to a random city and chillax in it. It's always fun. Oh, damn it. It's still being such a pain. It's alright. It'll take as long as we need to. <laughs> as long as we need. Alright. Yeah, just hang out. Um, any more Korean vessels? Yep. Cargo ship. Man. Lancer, stay in position. Oh, we can start bombing. <laughs> Bombs up in five. <laughs> oh damn, Ronald Reagan. What a wh honestly, <laughs> what what a person. What a president. Crazy man. Yes, let's get an airport. I mean, I don't know. We could save our money. Oh, we've got a booming economy. Let's buy a castle as well, and a university, and maybe a hospital actually as well. You know what? We'll be very nice to our our citizens. We'll buy them all the nice things. We do want that harbor though, because that'll connect us up. Yeah. But in case we need to like reinforce quickly, then we have that airport that are there as well. Dun dun dun. Yeah, attack that. It's not going to do too much. Yeah. I don't suppose you'll just trade this. Alright, let's get these embassies back. There's no way. It'll cost so much Partly. money. Yeah, he's got like... <gasps> he would do it for a Scooby snack, but no. Yeah, I'm sorry, Venice. It's it's not going to happen. You're going to have to be removed forcibly. Might even be worth putting another city down here. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Whilst we can. <laughs> whilst you can. <laughs> it might be worth putting a city down here. One, two, f wait, hang on. One, two, three, well, I want to put it on the coal. Yeah, it's just to stop Germany, you know, you, I can imagine Germany will come in and pop a city there and it'll just be really annoying. So I want to count this as China. Curses. Yeah. But I suppose it's not. I mean, the whole dragon is China. Love it. That's the wing or the body. It's either the body or it's the wing. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty dead set on this. Yeah. Well, I suppose it could be the wing. If you look at it like this is the dragon, here's the body, and that's it flapping its wing. I don't know. China would make some symbol out of that. <laughs> Alright, our ship got attacked, but it didn't die. Oh, and we can bring our ship in and plunder that as well. I think we'll be able to take that this turn. Pyongyang's going to be a little harder. Yeah, we'll have to pull these troops out. We didn't quite make a beachfront here. Which is quite the shame. The shame of it all. Yeah. Strategic pullout. It's alright. We can start bombing. Bombarding. Yay. <laughs> Pew pew. Oh. Pew pew. Yeah, get out of there. Alright, and then you guys. Ooh. I will land the tank. And then we'll put you guys on this hill here. That way you've got some support. Alright! Air repair! Air repair? You got it. And the pandas. Pandas! Plunder. Plunder, plunder, plunder. And yeah, now we can upgrade that to a nuclear submarine. 
Alright, who wants to do the honors? The Imperial Guard will. They always do the honors. Haha, <laughs> the Emperor took the city personally. Yeah, create a puppet. And then we'll bring the Imperial Guard all the way back to Beijing. 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 Whoa. The city's uh, starving. Yeah, wow. The city's not doing well at all. Um, probably not the best city actually to have. Well, let's grab our castle. And maybe lighthouse. You know, lighthouse, buy it! Oh, we can't. Curses. Yeah. Man, it even has a hospital and it's not growing. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Yep. This city, I mean, it was theirs originally anyway, so, you know, the way I see it, it's only fair. Alright, took that. Getting ready for the assault of, uh, of Venice. I mean, of, well, Jerusalem. <gasps> and there we go, we got our great prophet. Where shall we pop him? We will pop him right there. Um, no. We're gonna work that. Yeah. I think that's the best. I mean... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> It'll be a bit crowded, but who cares? Yeah, we got that marine there. Um, yeah, just purchase that. So he has that extra tile to work. Yes, build me an airport. Police stations. Make it seem like a more modern world. Rocco's modern life. That battleship. Yeah, that battleship should be fine. Um, oh, right, you finished up. So, continue on your great and glorious task. Oh, you got a great general. Zhukov. Zhukov. It was a famous Russian general. Arguably, <laughs> arguably, we'd all be Hitler's, you know, bitches if it weren't for Zhukov and the uh, the Russians. Yeah, don't forget that, guys. If you like to romanticize World War II, remember, it was mostly the Russians that won the war. <laughs> I mean, yeah, America won the uh, the Pacific War, but ho, oh, if it weren't for the Russians, damn. I mean, phew. They hold ass. Right across Europe. I mean, it was a tragic affair, but... Oh. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. That was weird. <laughs> Does that sometimes. <gasps> He's entered the information era. How dare he? Hopefully he hasn't gone the path of the, uh, the Hubble. Yeah, no. I don't want him building the Hubble. If he builds that... Then he's, he's dead set on winning the uh, space victory. Which we don't need. Alright. The Empress's will. We'll get a promotion. What will we give it? Who knows? We already gave it Sentry. I think I'll give it another obscure one. I can't remember what it was. I think the movement one. Yeah. Plus one movement. Which is useful. Especially on a battleship that can fire twice and still move around quite a bit. Which is really good. I can't believe the... The, the City of Freedom is in a frozen wasteland. Quite interesting. Yes, these are the water tribes. <laughs> water tribes of the world. It's kind of, I kind of, well, I suppose it kind of, <gasps> I just realized, guys, it does kind of look like the world of Avatar as well. I mean, not quite. I mean, yeah, I mean, it is a bit distorted. But, you know, because, I mean, obviously the Earth Kingdom's like a giant chunk and then you've got the the fire islands. Oh man, this could be this. Yeah, this could be the fire nation. Holy crap! Targeting. No, we want to grab. Oh, we could get supply, but no. Mobility seems the best course of action right now. Right, fire. Oh, we got a promotion. Plus one range. <gasps> very very good on that one. We still can't take the city seemingly. Uh, but we can move in and do a bit of damage. And you can also move in and you can plunder that. I suppose you could come in as well if you want. <laughs> easy come, easy go. Will you let me go? Oh, you can reach. Oh. Ow. Ow. Well, that's sucky because I just... Oh, no. 
I can get in there. And we've got our thingies. Our fighters as well. Pew. And then, yeah. It's gonna be... It's gonna be close. There we go! Kablam! I hold so much yet to discover. You've robbed the world of brilliance in your quest for greed. That's really depressing, actually. I'm sorry, man. Quest, quest for greed. Well, I suppose it was pretty greedy. But China roars and Pyongyang burns. I mean, Pyong I mean, would have been better if Pyongyang burns kind of took that city, but oh well. <laughs> yes, so we've eliminated, we've eliminated a mighty. Former mighty foe. He wasn't it wasn't our greatest enemy, but he was a humble man. A humble man with a humble plan. Alright, heal you up. And now we'll just prepare for our war with uh with Venice. And our unification will be complete. We'll have many celebrations. In fact that that'll start our golden age. Yeah. Let's see if we can't we let's see if we can get to the golden age. Um for our unification. Cause it just seem it seems so perfect in timing. Ah, oh, medieval era. Damn. I was hoping for um, a thingy site there. That's alright. So yeah, we're at peace again. Yeah, it looks like Venice. I don't know, Venice is holding on to it. You know, they're, they're hanging in there. And yeah, that's that helicopter thing I told you guys about. Where the helicopter has to go into the ocean in order to actually <laughs> move across the, uh, the world. It's quite funny. Hmm. But technically, helicopters are uh, land-based uh, things as well. Yeah. Hopefully, Venice doesn't get nuked. Yeah, he's he's bringing it in. I won't put it past Germany to actually to actually succeed. Yeah. Look at that. The hiding place of of the uh, the Netherlands. They're holding on to it. You know, I suppose that they've got that going for them. They're hanging in there. I mean, to even still be counted among the living civilizations is quite a feat. Uh, yeah, leave Germany alone on a continent and he'll go crazy. I mean, look at Ethiopia. <laughs> Completely gone. At least I treated my, my foes with respect. Yeah. Respectful to my foes. I gave them a graceful existence within my empire. Yeah, you could say they're actually better off in my empire. Ah. <sighs> Yes, the core region. Love it. Alright, next turn. Blam. Alright, you chill out there. Hang out. Alright. Should we start this war now? I think it would be best if we uh, took a rest, but it's the same. Same time. I'm sorry, man. I'm only doing this for one reason. Yeah, all those trade routes I sent to him. That's a lot of gold we'll lose. Oh, that sucks. That's a huge amount of our economy. Ow. I won't be surprised if that actually cripples us. Vous, Look at all that. Oh, let's do it. Oh, it wasn't terrible. I think it was more terrible for him. I feel bad because, you know, like, he, he was just... I think he was aiming to stay quite peaceful with us. Alright, let's move you around. Um... Yeah, we can finish this quite quickly, I think. Because we got our bombers. Nice music. I haven't heard it in quite a while, actually. Uh, I mean, the Venetian theme. Right, so let's move in our battleship. Boom. And. Yeah. you can come along as well. Ooh, what is that? Keep improving. Oh wait, no, that was the guy. The, oh, screw it. We'll get there eventually. Alright, now we can attack Jerusalem. Ooh, that's, yeah, it's a pretty tough city to take. It's not, it's not going to bend the knee easily. Bend the knee, my lord. Please. You. Move up to the city. China rules can just chill out there. Yep, build improvements. 
Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Who's in production? Cycling center. Do we need that? No, not really. <laughs> we don't need to recycle. We've got so much aluminium already. Airport. Ah, uh, get my garden. All right. Next turn. Hmm. Now to think about it, Venice isn't a city I want Germany to have because it's got a lot of like tourism in it, a lot of culture. It would certainly give Germany an edge. Hmm. There is that to consider. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Yep, everybody's getting that. <laughs> yeah, we need oil. That'll be why we're not doing so well. Get it so well? Because of the oil? No. It's not the time. <laughs> this is neither the time or the place for that kind of joke. Now, is he building the hovel? I have no idea. There's no way to find it. Wait, there is. Although I would have been informed. <gasps> Colombo is really hard to get. And yes, impossible to steal from. Yeah, he was building the Pentagon. Holy crap. That means he can upgrade all his units very, very easily as well. Because, yeah, Germany gets a land force. You know, um, a huge, uh, what is it, bonus to his land force limit as it is. Well, not land force limit, but like land force um, maintenance, yeah. Because Germany is equipped for war. No, 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 no. Do the thing. Pew, pew. Oh. Stop clicking on Christopher Bloody Columbus. Nobody cares. Nobody cares for the woods anymore. Alright. We're bringing the Imperial Guard to here. It's got the cover, so it's fine. The Emperor. By the Emperor's will. Yeah, you can come into there. Pew. Pew. And pew. Can't take it, so we'll just do nothing. And then you can do that. And heal yourself, just in case. Yay, another marine! So you can be the, um, yeah. You can be the Katara. I think that's how you spell Katara. Don't quote me, I never saw their names on screen. But, yeah. Oh, and also upgrade that guy, because it's bugging me. It's bugging me! 20! Alright, build some bomb shelters. In case we get nuked. Maybe not a caravan, sorry. We don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, again, <laughs> since when do we build things because we need them? <laughs> Funny how Zurich still exists. Just in the middle. What a lovely city that is. Mmm. And nice if you could repair those citadels. Would be cool. Great war bomber. Yeah, and he built that. So it looks like he went down a different path uh, to where we went down. Where is it? What is that? What is. Th is that the Prora? Did he. Could he. How. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't think you can. Bu you can't build the Prora inside a landlocked city. I know that much. That's not the floor. No, that's like a it's like a stadium. I think that's a stadium. Oh look, and we're all out of time. Just in time for the golden age. I'll take you back to the golden ages. Or the golden arches. <sighs> Damn the puns. Alright, we'll wait for this turn to end, and then we will end the episode. Momentarily. Bum ba dum bum bum. Golden Age. Oh. Nice. Right, thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you next time. Tell you who to